Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to reference data in a data frame in R. Now before we start, let's take a look at a very, very simple data frame and I'm going to use a data frame called plant growth, which is inbuilt into R. So I just simply type out plant growth and run this line to take a look at the data. We see that we've got 30 rows, so our last line is row number 30. If I scroll up to the top of the data here, we can see that we have a data set with 30 rows and just two columns. So this is a really, really simple data set. And we can see that our weight variable is numeric and that our group variable is, it's a factor, it's text-based and we call this categorical data. So these uh, data represent the results from an experiment on plant growth. So the first 10 plants you see, these are uh, control groups, so they don't get any treatment at all. The second set of 10 plants get treatment number one, TRT1, and the third set of plants get treatment number two, TRT2. So we're not too concerned about the uh, treatments uh, and how these data work here, but we, what we want to be able to do with this data frame and any other much larger data frame with thousands of rows and, and dozens of columns, is we want to be able to learn how to access individual rows and individual columns. So I'm going to start with rows. So if I type out plant growth again, I'm going to use square brackets throughout here to, to help us um, represent rows and columns. So I want, let's say I want to represent row number three. So I can see in the output at the bottom, row number three is numbered row three. Uh, the weight is 5.18 and that plant is in the control group. So if I type in, in the first part of the square brackets, the number three, then a comma, and I'm going to leave a blank for the second part represents the column. So in square brackets, row first, column second. So I don't need to represent a column here. I just want to display all the values in row number three. So when I run this, we can see in the output that we get row number three, 5.18, control. If I want to um, access a different plant growth, if I want to access a different row, let's say this time row number 27, it's simply typing in 27, comma, uh, I'm gonna put in a blank, even though I don't need to, I'm just doing it for um, uh, illustration purposes here. So if I run this, you can see in the console that I get row number 27. And finally with rows, if I want to display a range of rows, uh, I can do that again using the plant growth and uh, variable name and square brackets. And this time, let's say I want to display rows number three to 10. So that's a simple three colon value 10, then the comma, and then the blank. Again, we're not we just want to display any particular column here. We want to display all values from row three to 10. So let's run that. And we can see in our output in the console that we get all values for three to 10. So in this way, you should be able to access any row by number in a data set. Now let's move to columns. Our columns are, we do it in a similar way, but remember in the square brackets, it's row first and then column second. So if I want to do plant growth, square brackets, and this time I'm going to leave the row blank because I'm going to display all the values, comma, and then row number or column number one to represent the weight column in our case here, run this piece of code and where you can see we're getting all the numeric values because we have specified that only column one should be shown here on line 10. We can also reference columns by name. So if I go back to plant growth again, square bracket, leave the first part blank because we want to show all rows, then a comma, and then using inverted commas, type in, again, I'm going to type in weight here. Fix that, E-I-G-H-T, by weight. So I can refer to the column by name, and we can see we get the exact same column again. And we can also uh, use the variable name and the dollar sign to represent plant growth, dollar sign. And I'm going, in this case here, I'm going to choose weight, display that, and we get the same output. So those three uh, lines there, lines 10, 11, and 12 in my code, are all give the exact same result. We can um, um, access any particular column in a data set in this way. If I want to get the second column, that's very, very straightforward. Let's plant growth again, growth, square bracket, space for, for rows, comma, and then uh, column number two in this case. So if I run that, we can see I'm getting all the first 10 controls, the next 10 TRT ones, and then the final uh, levels of three TR32. Not terribly useful like this, but sometimes you might want to investigate data sets in this way. 
And we can also, as we have done in lines 11 and 12, we can access the third column using the name by weight or by the dollar sign weight variable as well. So the last thing I want to be able to do here is to reference a particular value. So let's say, let me just uh, um, put plant growth here again and take a look at the full data set. So run that. So let's then say in this case here, I want to uh, um, access, I want to pull out the value on row five, column ones. We can see that that value is 4.50. So let's say I want to pull out that particular value. So what I do here is I'm going to uh, reuse line number 16. And um, we know that it's on line five and column one. So this here is where we would put rows first, column second, don't forget. So we're going to put in row number five first, comma, uh, space then for readability, and the first column, which is number one. So square brackets, don't forget, run this. And we can see we get a value as expected of 4.5. So we can use this type of code to access any particular value in the data set. Finally, if you um, try and access any values, to get rid of that common command there, so plant growth. If I say, for example, I know there are 30 lines in my data set, so if I try and access uh, line number 31, I also know that there's only two columns in my data set, so let's say I try and access column number three. So if I run this, um, you can see that I'm getting a null value. There's no value, uh, there's nothing in row number 31, and there's nothing in column three. They just do not exist, so therefore we're getting a null value in response. So you should experiment with this accessing uh, different columns and try this out with a much larger data set uh, with more, a lot more columns than we have here and also a lot more rows. And can you access individual cells in that data set? So practice that and you should be able to find your way around your data set for your analysis of data purposes. So that's how you reference data in a data frame in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.